Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 16 to chapter 4, verse 3. Moreover, I saw under the sun that in the place of justice, even there was wickedness, and in the place of righteousness, even there was wickedness. I said in my heart, God will judge the righteous and the wicked, for there is a time for every matter and for every work. I said in my heart with regard to the children of man that God is testing them, that they may see that they themselves are but beasts. For what happens to the children of man and what happens to the beast is the same. As one dies, so dies the other. They all have the same breath, and man has no advantage over the beasts, for all is vanity. All go to one place, all are from the dust, and to dust all return. Who knows whether the spirit of man goes upward and the spirit of the beast goes down into the earth. So I saw that there is nothing better than that a man should rejoice in his work, for that is his lot. Who can bring him to see what will be after him? Again, I saw all the oppression that are done under the sun. And behold, the tears of the oppressed, and they had no one to comfort them. On the side of their oppressors there was power, and there was no one to comfort them. And I thought the dead who are already dead more fortunate than the living who are still alive. But better than both is he who has not yet been, and has not seen the evil deeds that are done under the sun. In today's passage, the teacher contemplates about righteousness and judgment. He sees that even in the place where righteousness ought to be represented, there is wickedness. It is the same with those that are being oppressed. They have no one to deliver righteousness and judgment. The teacher had considered that God would deliver justice upon the righteous and the wicked, but even then, the end of all things is death, so the teacher concludes that pursuing righteousness is also vanity. This world tries to put a veil over eternity and tries to make us believe that this world and the life we are living now is all that matters. The big error in this thinking is that behind the veil awaits eternity, and many live this life without considering about what awaits them in the eternity. Romans chapter 2 verse 6 through 8 says, He will render to each one according to his works. To those who by patience and well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, he will give eternal life. But for those who are self-seeking and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, there will be wrath and fury. There is judgment to come after this life, and only those who have been saved by the blood of Jesus Christ can escape the final judgment. While we're living in this world, we're given the opportunity to hear the good news that Jesus has come. He has died for our sins, and those that believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. Jesus' death on the cross is God's divine righteousness and judgment. He died for us so that we can live in him. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. As we meditate on today's passage, let us look to Christ in whom is God's righteousness and justice, and place our undivided faith in him and him alone.